In this demo, we'll be using PX Backup to backup a production application in Kubernetes on Flash Array with Portworx Enterprise to both the cloud and on-prem. We'll be using Pure Flash Blade as our on-prem backup target and Azure Blob Storage as our cloud target. Note that other clouds besides Azure work in this case with PX Backup. However, we're using Azure as our demo cloud. Here we can see our PX Backup interface, and we're going to navigate to Cloud Settings to see that both FlashBlade and Azure Blob Storage accounts are already created within our backup instance. The backup locations for Azure Blob Storage and FlashBlade ob object storage are also created, and therefore we already have our configuration ready to go for this type of use case. Now, if we head back to our settings, we want to make sure that there's schedule policies that we can use for our backups. There's a daily policy, which retains seven backups and backs up every day at 1 a.m. And then there's an hourly policy, which retains three. We're going to use daily for this case. Now, if we navigate to our production on-prem cluster, We've already created two backups based on the daily schedule. Here you can see there's a backup schedule to FlashBlade using the daily schedule and a backup schedule to Cloud, which uses the Azure Blob Storage and the daily schedule. So every day at 1 a.m., this Mongo namespace will be backed up to both Azure Blob Storage and FlashBlade on-prem. This gives us the ability to restore back on-prem to the same production cluster or to a different secondary cluster. It also gives us the ability to run restores in the cloud, say to Azure Kubernetes service, so that we can test or develop against real data. We navigate to our storage and object storage endpoint in the FlashBlade UI. You can see here our FlashBlade PX backup bucket exists and our objects are being created within this bucket. If we want to navigate and see more detail, we can use the CLI to look at the bucket contents. Within the FlashBlade bucket, you can see that there are a number of different namespaces. In this case, Mongo NS was our target. You can navigate into the Mongo NS directory and see the schedule occurring for FlashBlade. This happens daily over the past week or so. Now we also are backing up to Cloud and Azure. So let's try and look at the details for this. And it's also coming from the same production cluster but obviously it's not being backed up to FlashBlade. So let's take a look at our Azure blob storage and make sure those same backup schedules are occurring. We're gonna head into the blob storage viewer, look at the Mongo namespace directory and see that our schedule to cloud over the past week is happening just as our on-prem backups are occurring. So this shows you that both the application is being backed up to FlashBlade on-prem and to Azure Blob Storage from a single Kubernetes location, giving us the flexibility to restore to either. Now, let's demonstrate how we can restore this application to either cluster. If we head over to our backups. We're going to search for our cloud schedule. Here you can see all the cloud daily backups that have been occurring. So we're going to navigate to our latest backup that occurred as part of this policy and click Restore. We need to give our restore a name and choose which location to restore it from. Now we know that our backup in this case is to our Azure cloud storage. So the location is much closer to be able to restore to our cloud Azure cluster. 
In this case, this is an Azure Kubernetes cluster. We can make sure that the Mongo namespace is the same and replace any existing resources that are in it. Say we're using this cluster for testing, we want to make sure it gets updated with the latest backup. So the restore starts and the volumes will be pulled from Azure Blob Storage into our AKS cluster, and the resources will also be restored from Azure Blob Storage into our AKS cluster. So if we refresh our backup one more time, we should be able to see the application begin to create itself within our Azure cluster. If we head over to our Kubernetes cluster and head over to our workloads and navigate to the Mongo NS namespace, we can see our MongoDB is up recently within the last minute. This shows that we are able to restore from our policy that backs up to both on-prem FlashBlade and to cloud-based Azure block storage. Until next time, take care.